When you're working with an Excel file, you can customize the windows so they're easier to use, but be careful that you don't accidentally lose those settings by looking at multiple windows. For example, here's an order list, and I'd like to freeze the top few rows so they're always visible if I scroll down. To do that, I'll click on the button for row 4 because I want to lock in place these top three. I'll go to the View tab on the ribbon, click Freeze Panes, and it's going to freeze above and to the left of whatever cell I have active. So I'll click freeze panes and now the top three rows are frozen in place. The other thing I'll change is turning off these grid lines and that's also on the view tab. There's a checkbox and so now I can always see the top and I don't have the clutter of all the grid lines in the rest of the worksheet. When I save that window setting. Next time I open the file, those will all still be in place. So everything works very nicely. But occasionally you'll find those settings disappear mysteriously and the cause is opening another window. So I'm just saving those settings. And now I've got another sheet here. I've got an orders pivot that is a summary of all those orders and then the prices for each item. So if I'm looking at my orders pivot, I might like to see the prices at the same time. And to do that, I'll open another window in this workbook. We're on the view tab. I'll click new window. And if we look in the title bar now, it says freeze pane saved XLSX. Two. So this is window two in the same workbook that I had open. To see them side by side, I'll click Arrange All. And in Arrange Windows, I want just the windows of the active workbook. I'd like them side by side, so I'll go vertical and click OK. So now I'm seeing the same worksheet, Orders Pivot, in both windows. But in this other window, I could click on Prices. So now I can see the pivot table here and the prices here. But something to note is that if we go back to the order sheet, here's the original window, no grid lines, and we can just see the freeze pane at the top. In this other window, there's no freeze line and grid lines. This one is freeze pane saved two. This one is the original window one. And because the second window popped to the top of the stack, whenever we created the new window, it's showing us that new window. When I arranged them, then it's the one at the left and the original one is at the right. Now when you're done working with the multiple windows, so these sheets look the same, I decide I don't need a second window anymore. So my instinct is to close the one on the right. But if I do that, I'm closing the original window. I'm left with the second window. I'll double click on its title bar to make it fill the whole window. When I go back to orders, my freeze pane and grid line settings have been lost. And I might not notice that. I might just have closed this workbook. And then when I open it tomorrow, it's a mystery as to why those settings have disappeared. If you're going to open multiple windows in a workbook and you have customized your window settings. So you've used your grid lines and freeze panes. Make sure when you're closing those other windows, check the numbers at the top and leave the original one, the number one window open and close the others and that should keep your settings. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.